Okay, now we can go get into the thick of adding a configuration for a DMX gateway, the DMX ports tab. Uh, at the top we have the device name, the IP address, and then the four ports that you can configure. On a two port gateway, ports three and four are grayed out and you can't edit or change anything. Top we have the AC and Universe number. It starts at one and goes up to 65,279. So then these are the same universe numbers that you could set down here on the table and along with the port mode, output, input, and off is in here. Again, the same as what you have out here in the table. Now we start getting into the other properties that you can't edit from the table. Uh, the DMX output rate, maximum fast, medium, slow, and synced. Uh, maximum starts off at 44 hertz, 44 times a second that it's gonna update out on the wire. And then these are each uh, successively slower outputs for older devices so they can kind of keep up. Synced uh, is a new one. It, without going off into the, the too deep into the weeds, it's for moving lights, really. Uh, what it means is that it stays, it keeps the DMX output port synchronized with the ACN input. So that if for some reason, uh, streaming ACN drops a packet, then this will wait until it gets the next packet on the Ethernet line before it puts out another DMX packet. Now why this is important to movers is if it didn't do that, if you have it set to maximum and you lose a packet, it will just keep sending it out uh, a second packet at the same level that the previous one was which for dimmers, that's fine, that's great, that's just what you want. For movers, when they're trying to calculate uh, a very fine, slow pan and tilt, that throws off their algorithm to figure out where they want to be to keep it all smooth. If you do synced, it would rather not see uh, a, a duplicate packet, it would rather wait and get the real next level, the, the pan and the tilt would stay smooth. So there you go, and before I forget, uh, this question mark up here, and I did forget in the previous screen, but it's here, it's help. Um, click on a, on a field, then it gives you a little summary of what's going on, and down here you can see the short answer, synced DMX output rate rat matches streaming ACN input rate. And that goes for any of these other fields as well. Next is priority mode. Uh, it's disabled for outputs, but on inputs, it's defaulted to off, and you get per port, which then you can set right here and it defaults to 100 or you can do by per address. See now you get one more button here to open another screen which lets you set the priority on a per address basis. So and from here we can copy a port from a different gateway you select the gateway and then you select what port on that gateway and then it would copy it here. Since I don't have that set, I'm not going to do that. You can do set all. So it'll set all of these to whatever value you give it. You can do a range. You can clear it all. Uh, and these are the tools you have to go and, and edit the individual priorities for the individual addresses on a port. Uh, the advanced input patch, AIP, that's actually the whole next tab. So I'm going to skip this these buttons right here until we get to the next one. Uh, hold last look time, 180 seconds or three minutes. That is better covered and actually set in data loss. We'll get there in a second. And RDM enable is disabled. And I'm not even gonna open this button for you. Uh, GCE supports setting the properties in the gateway. However, the gateway does not currently support RDM. It will in a future release, and we'll cover it when we get there. For now, data loss behavior. Again, we have the name and the IP address, the four ports. Uh, remember that these two are set to inputs, and these two are set to outputs. First one, hold last look forever. Well, that's pretty straightforward. It will hold the last look forever. And if I click it, it grays out everything else because it's not going to fade, it's not going to disable. The last packet it receives, it will continue to output until the unit is reset. Here we have the, the time that you set in the previous screen. It defaults to three minutes. 
Uh, and then data loss fade enable, meaning after it holds its last look for three minutes, it will fade to zero in five seconds. And then the last one, data loss port disable, means that it will turn off the DMX port. It will no longer output valid DMX. Uh, if you unclick that, you get, it's not going to hold last look forever. It's going to hold for three minutes. It's going to fade to zero in five seconds and continue to output valid zeros on the DMX line. Uh, if you have movers again, you probably want to disable the fade and you just want the port to disable. So hold your last look for however long you want, port disable, no fade, and that'll make your movers a little bit happier because you won't, you won't fade all your numbers through the different uh, colors, strobes, pan, tilt, everything. It'll just stay where it is and then turn off. If you have an input, it will continue to forever uh, the last DMX packet it received put out on the Ethernet wire as long as it can or as long as you have set here in the hold last look time. And there's the data loss behaviors. So here is where you set most of uh, your DMX information. Next one, we go way off into the weeds, AIP, Advanced Input Patch, for the ports.